if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHEZ at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 22 of the Newcastle United career mode series here on FIFA 16. Things couldn't be going better for us right now. We are 12 points clear at the top of the championship. 12. We expected to have a very good season, but I'm not entirely too sure I expected it to be this good. In fairness, all three of the sides that we moved down to the championship, because of course we updated the leagues, are sat first, second, third. Newcastle, Aston Villa and Norwich. And even Norwich in third are seven points ahead of the uh, the next team in fourth, Fulham. So all three of us are dominating the league, really. So uh, hopefully we can continue that today. We've got a game against Birmingham, followed by an FA Cup fourth round tie. Or round, oh, it's around a 16, is it? Oh, I thought it was the fourth round. It is the fourth. Oh, no, we played Accrington in the fourth round. It's the fifth round. It's the round of 16. And then uh, we've got Rotherham in the third and final game of the episode. And then tomorrow, we will have the Capital One Cup final against West Bromwich Albion. Of course, the suit will be on for that. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy today's episode. Drop the video a like if you do. Subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any further episodes. Most notably, that Capital One Cup final episode tomorrow. And without any further ado, let's go and take on Birmingham. See if we can't extend our 12-point lead at the top. We now have, by a margin, the best defensive record in the league. Norwich have always been pretty close to us, but recently they've started leaking a few goals, which has seen Aston Villa jump above them in the league. So we uh, have only conceded 12 goals in 30 games, which is madness, really. I wasn't expecting the season to go this well. Hopefully we can continue at least a part of this form in next season's Barclays Premier League campaign. I'm definitely going to be aiming for top 10 next year in the BPL, but we'll uh, we'll approach that BPL season when we get there. For now, we just want to ensure that we get across the line and win the championship. Free kick. I'm going to go short to Jack Colback here. And then Rico Henry is going to keep that run going. So sorely tempted to shoot, but I won't. We'll get it to Dominic Iorfa, of all people, popping up in the left wing role. Iorfa, the right back. Oh, Kuzak, that is so very, very unlucky. I think the shot initially from Iorfa deflected off a defender, which made it pop up at the goalkeeper. We'll have a quick look here. Yeah, it took a deflection off the, uh, the number three that stuck his foot in, and then not really much Kuzak can do there. It's just hit him in the chest and gone straight to Iosi Perez. 1 0 Newcastle. Well, Kovac still set off the defender. I'm waiting for Aosi Perez to make me run. He's actually decided not to, but we'll find Henri Saive, and he will give us a 2-0 lead. Aosi Perez just wasn't interested there. I pressed LB for him to make a run, and he's just like, nah, I'm going to just stay back here. I don't really don't really care too much, to be honest. And then Henri Saive arrives. The heavy touch, I thought the chance had gone, but no, into the back of the net it goes. Birmingham crumbling here. They sat in like sixth place though, Birmingham. They should be doing better than this. They're in a playoff spot, but we are destroying them. Two goals in three minutes, and it's 2 0 in 15. Curtis with the throw. Well up. Uh, the defender there, and Colback will get this in here to Dendonka. Across the toe van. Iosi Perez making the run, so we'll slot him in. Dendonka is coming up in support. That's a nice turn by Aosi Perez. We'll lay this in front of Dendonka. He supposedly got good long shots, but we'll look for Kerim Fry. Oh, and he has squeezed it under the keeper to score his first goal in a Newcastle United shirt. He got an assist in the last episode, and that's a decent finish, actually. Running onto it at pace to hit it first time into the bottom corner. Nice turn by Perez. Beat the defender all ends up. Dendonka, I thought about having a shot, laid it off, and to be fair... Should the keeper have done better again? I'm not sure. It's a really good first time here. And the keeper perhaps... Oh, it's right underneath him. In fairness, it came at him at quite a pace and it was right next to his foot. Should have, shrugged, should have thrown a leg at it rather than trying to go down with his arms. But never mind. 3-0 up in 34 minutes. What a game. James Vaughan inside to Robert Tesh. Tesh to Fabrini. Gets the turn in. Slots it through to Will Buckley who draws a good save out of Tim Krull. Birmingham trying to get themselves back into the game. It's about time they did something offensively, and to be fair, it was a good move and a good shot. That's a great ball to James Vaughan, who's racing away here. Grant Hanley's with him. Vaughan turns inside. Oh, a very good shot as well. Fabrini will keep this in and look for a cross, maybe. Managed to get some sort of block on it, but Keaton Bald has been able to knock it down. That was a really good shot from James Vaughan. Really put his foot right through it. Oh, I've missed the tackle. Vaughan. Oh, another very good shot from the edge of the box. Grant Hanley will eventually get it away and hopefully Jack Cobbett can win this header. He hasn't. Fabrini might have another effort, but Rico Henry thankfully has the pace to get there and we won't clear our lines. Dendonka's pass is poor, but this time we will clear our lines. Wow. A couple of really good efforts for Birmingham there. They've won the ball back again. This is a never-ending, seemingly 
spell of possession, but now we're on the counter attack. Don't tell me they're going to have all that possession and chances. And I'm no, I'm not going to go up the other end and make it four because Fry's turn wasn't good enough. Never mind. Still three nil in the 67th minute. Win that Tovan. He's done well. He's going to reach Rico Henry of all people pushing forward here from the left back spot. We'll look for Colback. Colback in some space. Colback makes it four. 70th minute, we have our fourth goal of the game. Second half has been a lot more even than the first. As you saw from probably the previous highlight, they had a real spell of possession but weren't able to score. And we have gone up the other end just a handful of minutes later and scored a fourth to really put it out of their reach as if it wasn't far enough away already. Saive. Back to Iorfa. Down the line towards Tovan. Bit of space here for the Frenchman. Turn inside Jonathan Grounds very well indeed. And lay this inside. Oh, he might still get a little bit lucky. I offer 5 0. I got very, very lucky with the way that that pass rebounded straight back to uh, Florian over there. Nice turn inside. Running low on stamina, but really poor initial pass. But thankfully, it drops back to him. We've had. We've been really lucky in a, at least two or three of these goals in this game. Drops back to Iorfa though. The right back gets himself on the score sheet. 5 0. There goes the final whistle, a 5-0 victory away from home against Birmingham City. I'm not sure what our biggest win of the season has been off the top of my head, but I think that is up there. We scored every single one of our shots on target. Stat-wise, pretty close. Result-wise, nowhere near. Sorry, Birmingham, but you just got destroyed. Norwich lost again, as did Aston Villa. Our lead at the top of the table extends to 15 points with 15 games remaining. Wow, right, let's head into the FA Cup against Cardiff, shall we? I just checked, and that 5-0 win against Birmingham is our biggest win of the season to this point. Previously, it was a 4-0 over Preston back in October, but that 5-0 victory over Birmingham City is our biggest win of the season to this point. Uh, last time we played Cardiff, we beat them in the league, so hoping for a replica of that in the FA Cup this time around. Yeah, Matt, to cover Lenko. Making a run down the right here, Matt Ritchie, but can't get past the defender. Yemma gets caught on it as well by Fabio, who's racing away here. Cardiff could be in. Cross to come in. It's well delivered too, but Akore gets it away. Here's Rawls. Try and get the block in. We have done. Dendonka does well. Den oh, there's a lot of Ds there. Dendonka does well. <laughs> Unfortunately for Cardiff, though, their first chance of the game goes over the top of the bar from O'Keefe. The conditions are awful here for a game of football, but... We're just going to have to put up with it. Same for both sides, as the Glisse always goes. Yan Matt to Dendonka. Hook it in there to Musa Sissoko. Get past the defender. I've got Mitrovic ahead of me. But I'm going to go out wide to Haidara first. Then we'll go inside to Mitrovic. That's Musa again. Is that a foul? It is. Good position for a free kick, this. Sissoko has come close with free kicks in recent games. And I think we'll give it to him again. Although we've got a couple of other players that could take free kicks now. Uh, Kovalenko is basically exactly the same as uh, Sissoko. S -S Sissoko has much better power. So, from distance, you want more power. We'll see if the more power works. He's hit the post. How has that not gone in? Oh, wow. What a clearance from Noon. All my days. That was so very close. Ritzy with a corner. Can we still get a goal? I think, actually, it was my man in the way of that. Sissoko blocked, cleared. Was it my man that got in the way of that header? And No, it was the defender. It was the defender. Never mind. I thought my man had gotten in the way of that and actually headed it off the line for the defence. How we haven't scored there, I'm not sure. Rouse into Kravitz. Gives it straight to Musa Sissoko. Thanks, pal. Dendonka. Draw the defender away and play in Rolando Aarons. Now, can he get away from Morrison? He's not really got the angle there to be able to sprint off. But we'll get it through this gap to Kovalenko. Try and get the turn in and play it to Musa Sissoko, who has been scoring a number of long shots. Oh, that's dropped kindly. Oh, Mitrovic just threw himself at it and it's gone wide of the post. All right, Fabio, chill out. Mitrovic will actually murder you if you try it. Here's Immers. Gets the turn in, gets it to O'Keefe. O'Keefe. Oh, looks for Immers again. 1 0 Cardiff City. After 66 minutes, the breakthrough has been made. Whether that was a mistake from the keeper, I'm not sure. My defending was definitely at fault for letting them create the chance in the first place. But once he had the opportunity, should Sells have kept that out? It was a nice turn there from him as to set up uh, O'Keefe. And then the return ball was brilliant. And I think I think the keeper should have done better. We'll have a look. This great angle for the replay. Oh, he's got to do better. He has to do better there, Sells. 
Disappointing goalkeeping and unfortunately we are 1-0 down. Corner for Cardiff with 15 minutes to go. A second goal would really put it out of my reach, I feel. Sells has done it again. He's come for that, got nowhere near it and it's a great header looping into the back of the net. 2-0 down against Cardiff away from home in appalling conditions and it looks like we're going out of the FA Cup. He's never stood a chance of getting to that, not even close. Really good header, but you have to feel that the keeper would have saved it had he been on his line. 2-0 down. Aaron's with a throw. Back to Musa. Into Vernon Anita quickly to Kovalenko. Roll the defender. Defender. Oh, what a strike off the post. He rolled the defender and smacked it off the woodwork. But it's too little, too late. Even if it had gone in, I don't think we're going to be able to get a second goal. But Rolando Aaron's could pull this back here. And Dwight Gale gets it under control but can't get his shot off. Cardiff are going to clear the lines. No, Musa does well. Sissoko will get this into the box. Keepers come and punch. That's how you do it, Sells. So you come and claim a cross. And the final whistle goes. We are out of the FA Cup. Oh, goalkeeping mistakes and my lack of ability to put any chances away at the other end mean that uh, in terrible conditions we have a terrible performance and we are out of the FA Cup. Never mind, we're in the Capital One Cup final for tomorrow's episode, so hopefully we can get a win in that cup competition, but sadly this year the FA Cup is out of reach. Never mind, back to league action now with the third game of the episode against Rotherham. Rico Henry, we will go to Kerry and Fry. But we're going to have to do well to roll the defender here. Go back inside. Help it quickly on to Dendonka. Good turn. Get it to Ozzy Perez. I'm actually going to go to Yanmat here in a lot of space. Try and turn inside the box. Now let's go back to Tovan. Tovan floats it in. Ozzy Perez is up as is Lee Camp. It's going to drop low to Musa Sissoko. Can't turn the defender. And Lee Frecklington comes away with it. Rico Henry to Ward. Ward back to Frecklington. Out wide towards... Uh, Joe Newell on this left-hand side. This on a good run, the left-back. Could get a cross in. Has done. Dangerous ball in as well. The man arriving at the back post is Lee Frecklington with a header. Very, very close to 1-0 Rotherham. But unfortunately for Lee Frecklington, past the post. Jan Matt to Saive. Quickly get it across to so Soko. He's done very well to get past the man there. Rico Henry's running forward. We'll play him in. We'll poke it through there towards Kerry and Fry. Why? Why have you pulled that back? Oh my god. I was clean through with Kerry and Fry there down the wing, about to do something positive. If we score from here though, I won't mind at all, but Lee Camp makes a comfortable save. Why would it do that? I was clean through with Kerry and Fry down the side of the box, about to cut inside or try and find a teammate with a cross, and he just pulled it back. Yes, we had an effort from the resulting free kick, but we would have had a much better one had uh, we been able to keep up going from open play there. That's pretty frustrating. It's been a game of few chances as it is. And the game's taking other opportunities away from me artificially as well. Smallwood. Oh, what a ball. No. Oh, my days. They've sweat it and it's worked. It seems I used up all my attacking ability in the first game, in the 5-0 win against Birmingham, because I was really poor against Cardiff. We've not been much better here. Very good awareness to square that to his teammate, but... They've completely picked me apart. 1-0 Rotherham with only 20 minutes to go. Game of very, very few chances. And that one could be the one that wins it. Here's Chris Burke racing away. Kovalenko coming across to him. It's a good cross. Get it away, but only as far as Joe Newell. Waiting for the turn. There it is. This is good football again from Rotherham. Really good football. Joe Newell, the left-back, could have an, an attempt and it's on target again. I'm struggling here. I'm really struggling. This could be our second defeat of the uh, the championship season so far. We only lost one game, and that was to Brentford earlier on in the season. But, of course, we lost to Cardiff in the last game in the Cup. And Kovalenko could rescue me here, but the shot is deflected. And go straight to Lee Count. We've got 15 minutes to try and turn this one around. Kovalenko forward to Ozzy Perez to Kerry and Fry to Saive. Back heel to Ozzy Perez through to Kerry and Fry. Out to Tovan, crossed into the box. Iosi Perez, yes! That's more like it. We have turned it around. Oh, the relief. The relief that I can actually put something together. I've been so bad in the game against Cardiff and this one, but that entire move was very well put together. I wasn't too confident of winning the header there, but I don't know what the defender's doing. But thankfully, Iosi Perez 
Yeah, it's a really strange technique from the defender. Like, the ball's right there, and he's almost stumbled as he's going for the header and leant forward and missed it. I don't care. I'll take it. 1-1. One, one. There still might be time to try and get a winner. Still back heel. Small wood. Tackle. Right. Counter-attack. Go, 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 go. We're in the 89th minute. You can see how many defenders they've left back here. Rotherham, they do not want to concede another goal, but we might be able to just squeeze something. Saive out to Tovan. Tovan. Oh, run out of space. I run out of space. Where do, I, where do I go? I'll go to Kovalenko. Can we wrong foot the defender? Maybe. Kovalenko to win it. It's deflected. Drops to Saive with one hit. I don't deserve this at all. But Henri Saive has given us a 2-1 lead with practically the last kick of the game. Kovalenko's effort was blocked well. And it deflected down towards the uh, the goalkeeper. But he's only been able to knock it out with his feet. And Saive somehow squeezes it in between Lee Camp and the post. Oh, he's really unlucky there, the Rotherham goalkeeper. They're really unlucky as a side. We're getting three points from this one. My only two real opportunities that you'd say I should score from the entire game, and it's going to be enough to win us it. I can't believe that's actually just happened. Three points from both championship games today. One was the biggest win of the season so far, but I didn't deserve that win. Even though it says I had seven shots, seven on target, I hands down did not deserve that win. Aston Villa play Norwich. Huge game for them between the two of them, fighting it out for the second automatic promotion spot. Our gap at the top of the table was 15 points, but I'm not sure what it will be now. I'll advance as far as the game against West Brom, which is, of course, the Capital One Cup final, which will come in tomorrow's episode as a one-off game with the suit, of course, as well, as we always do for cup finals. Delighted that we've reached a cup final, in fairness. Uh, Matt Sells wants to play more. Well, if you hadn't made as many mistakes as you have done since we brought you in, maybe you would have done. Finland international offer as well. I don't want that. Let's actually just have a quick look because the, uh, the other games should have been played by now. So we'll have a look, see what our lead at the top of the table is here at the end of today's episode. We're at the FA Cup. Uh, it seems Villa beat Norwich, so the gap at the top of the table is 15 points. We are 20 points, 20 points inside the automatic promotion spots with 14 games to go. Wow. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel too if you haven't to this point to ensure you don't miss out on any further content. But for now, that's all from me for today. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.